Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today we've got an interesting video, a video that I never thought I was even going to make. A few weeks ago, I thought it'd be a bit of fun to do a bracket challenge, pitting all the current speed champions up against each other because they are my passion in the LEGO space, one of. And the results were shocking. They were surprising. They were great but they were worthy of a video apparently. So here we are. We're just gonna go over the results quickly and look at some of these shocking developments. But I would encourage you, if you enjoy this, if you enjoyed the challenge, like and subscribe. We're also gonna be giving away one of these Countaches and I'll explain to you why and how in a little bit. But first of all, let's just crash through what happened. We'll give you the We'll give you the TSN turning points. Basically, round one, there's an odd number of speed champions, so this had to be a three battle. It was the Supra, the Avaya, and the Yesco. The Yesco won, beating out the Supra. The Avaya had no chance. A little surprised the Supra didn't take it, but there you have it. Next up was the Kuntosh and the 512M, 512M, 512, one of them. And the Kuntosh, unsurprisingly, took that fan favorite. I mean, if you see these two here, you know where this is going. Next in line, we have the first of the double packs. It was the Aston Martin face-off and the Vantage GT3 came clattering across the finish line, much ahead of the Valkyrie as well it should. Next up, we have the AMG Project 1 versus the W12, the Formula 1 car, and the Project 1 beat that out. All good so far. But even here is where I wanted to note something. Some of these were so close. I would check back here and there, and I would just have to call it at certain points. I think the F1 car might now be ahead, but at some point you just gotta, you just gotta close the polling booth, man. Anyways, moving along. On the semifinals in this first pool, we had the Koenigsegg Yesco up against the Countach, and the Yesco kinda had no chance. The Countach took that within easily. Next up, we had the Vantage GT3 versus the AMG Project 1, and again, the Project 1, pretty commanding victory there. And advancing to the finals, we had the Countach up against the AMG Project 1, and yeah, the Project 1 had no chance again. Countach, easy winner from this pool. We all knew that was going to happen. We all knew it. Flipping over to the B side, we had the Fast and Furious face-off. First up, it was the Brian's Nissan R34 Skyline versus Dom's Dodge Charger RT. And I think we probably could have all seen the Skyline scampering to the checkered flag for that one. Next up was the James Bond Aston DB5 up against the Porsche 963. Again, easy victory. DB5 as well it should be. And next up was the Pagani Utopia versus the Ferrari 812 Competizione. And this was another razor thin victory. When I looked at it, it was the Pagani Utopia. I think it has since changed, but I called it at Utopia. So it advanced. And lastly, we had the McLaren double pack, the McLaren F1 LM versus the Solus GT. And of course the LM easily beat out the Solus GT. You know I love the Solus. Advancing on to the semi-finals, it was Brian's Nissan Skyline versus James Bond's Aston Martin DB5. And again, we got Brian's Skyline taking the victory there. And on the other side, we had the Pagani Utopia versus the McLaren F1 LM. The F1 LM taking its second easy victory. And in the final, we saw the Brian's Nissan Skyline up against the McLaren F1 LM. It wasn't as much of a commanding victory, but the F1 did ultimately win that one. So, recap over. Come to the final of the finals. You got the Countach, you got the F1 LM, and what should happen? It is a dead heat. As I went throughout my days, I would check up on the voting, and the number of votes went up slowly and steadily. Sitting at around 300 right now, and every time I looked, 50 50, 50 50, 50 50. <laughs> and I think, I think the Kutosh would slightly would bump up to 51, but then after a couple more hours, it would go back down to 50 50. And right now, the McLaren has it 
by 1%. It's just, it's so razor thin. I mean, that goes to show you how good both these two cards are, and rightfully so. They're both excellent. But it is just too close to call. I think I saw it enough times where the Countach was taking the lead that I'd probably give the victory to the Countach and reign it as the champion of speed champions. That's right, we're going with the Lamborghini Countach, folks. Absolutely stunning thing. Very good to the source material. Excellent build. Just all around good, 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 good value. Really good techniques. Looks amazing. You can't go wrong. In the end, they're both excellent, but we gotta give the victory to the Countach. But like I said, I'm gonna be giving this Countach away because I already got one and I don't need this one. And just in time for Christmas, but why not, right? So if you're interested in that, comment below which color you'd have a Lamborghini Countach in. Would you have the classic 80s white on red? Would you have purple, lime green? Purple for me, I reckon. I think that'd be pretty cool. I'll give it till end of the day Friday. Just do one comment each. I'm just gonna remove any double entries. Everybody only gets one entry. And then I'll just pick a random winner. And of course, by participating in this giveaway, you do agree to all of YouTube's terms and conditions about giveaways. Feel free to search those up and check them out. Anyways, if you made it all this way, thank you very much for watching. If you participated in the community tab, I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun and I look forward to doing it again next year or something similar. I don't know, I had a good time with it, it was really good. Got some good engagement and that's all I want. I just want to chat with you guys, have a good time. But that's going to do it for this quick little video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Goodbye.